two. Sweet. So day two, Fish Sheets Camp. We've got another exciting day going wide. We're to places that we don't normally, we aren't able to get to. So we're going to launch at Kaltunu. We're just going to pull 20 minutes to Kaltunu and then we are going to launch and fire out to the northern uh, tip of Great Merc and 15 kilometers to the tip and then there's another five six to the far side and we're going to go dive uh, some some deep pins see if we can get more of that blue water and heaps of fish what are the boys chasing well i think everyone wants kingfish so we'll target kingfish 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 and then um how about we just ask those boys yeah. <laughs> kings huh kings kings you know, i want my king on the boat <laughs> And then, yeah, we'll just see. Well, hopefully we'll get there and the current will be on and it'll be happening. Um, otherwise, we'll have got a lot of cool coastline, lots of rocks and um, little drops and stuff, which we can go and explore and see what else we can find. It's going to be a good day. Awesome. Standard New Zealand launch. Can't go past it. How's the ramp? No upgrades this last time I was here. I think the water looks too bad to go out today. <laughs> what do you reckon lads? Pack her up. Pack her up. Let's fly back to Port Phillip Bay. Go chase some uh, flathead. <laughs> oh, a lot of seaweed. This will be fun. planned day two great merc we got into the water and we were greeted by lots of kings which made for good footage so i'll leave you with that for a bit Good. 
Here's his fish and uh, Craig about to put the second shot and secure the fish. First fish on the boat for the day. He was a happy chap. And then Craig and I decided to get stuck into some weed lining, uh, diving that 18 meter mark, try and find some terrakey, which we did. Didn't get any footage of some terrakey, but Got some a little bit of clips from the weed line. This is where you expect to see the terrakey come off the sand. Just a nice little paw right there, inquisitive one. It was about time to get stuck in some other species as well. The lad's crossing off butterfish, which was good to see. Nice tasty table fish there, and here we are. So the highlight of that day, I managed to get stuck into a really nice ball fish. The things weren't going too well in terms of kings for us that day. We've got a couple of smaller ones, but we didn't see what we were after. So I swam off on a weed line, and I was just cruising down to that 15 meter mark, um, hovering off the surface, oh, sorry, hovering off the bottom. Yeah, managed to see this one and got quite close to it. That was awesome. After four or five trips in New Zealand, I finally managed to tick off the elusive giant boarfish. We tried to get back into the kingfish mood, uh, checked out some new spots with lots of bait, usual bait, usual suspects, demoiselles, horror swimming around in big schools. Yeah, saw a few more kings, but we weren't too lucky, uh, no real big ones. And also some of the ones that were on a bigger scale were being pretty shy. Sort of the highlight of the trip uh, up to that day. But nonetheless, awesome diving as always, clean water. <laughs> Yeah, after that, it was time to start making our way back to shore and um, managed to stop by and and get a nice little snapper snoop in. Found this awesome ground and decided to set up a little kinnaburly and I'll just leave you for, with a clip to watch, see what unfolds. Yeah, this was actually my second drop on my burley and I knew there were fish on there already. And as it was almost time for, to go home, I decided to take a shot, not wait any longer. That was definitely one of the highlights. 
highlights of, of my trip. Um, textbook set up and it worked. It's a dream. Nice to get a fish on the boat. Just had a three kilo snapper. Not huge, but beautiful leading fish. Also made for some epic footage as well. Did a bit of colour correction as you can see there to just uh, highlight some of those colours on the snap of the surface. Yeah, wrapped up an awesome day of diving again. And uh, we were greeted by some awesome massive bottlenose dolphins on the way back to shore, which made for some more, more, more awesome footage for the day as well. Top it off. That was good. Day two. Wrapping that up. Back to our little pad, uh, off to clean, fillet, back seal, and feast like kings. Otherwise, you could leave, um, yeah, no, I'd fucking back sack it, mate. Back, back sack it. it. Back sack it. <laughs> That's a new one, Captain. Back sack it. Back sack it. Talk right, us through right that one. Yeah, mate. Fucking right there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you lads doing with the filleting? Adam getting started on, on the These King guys are amazing. They're like, what, what do you want me to start filleting first? <laughs> that is exactly what we want to hear. Sort of the process, and then we'll show you guys later once this is done, once this step is done. This is the vac sacking man over there. <laughs> That's it's actually he's vacuum sealing. He's That's the right term. The vac sacking. He's, he's got a big job ahead of him tonight. He doesn't even know what he's doing. I'm warming up with his ears. I'm just warming up for when I know he's coming my way. Yeah. I'm resting up. <laughs> 